Good afternoon. <coughs> Welcome to a good day blog. Uh, today has been a good day. I went to Anticoag and after a year of um, anoxaparine injections for eight months, two injections a day, um, and then one injection a day, I've never been put on tablets. Um, this is, I know I keep saying the word massive, but this is massive uh, for me because being sent home told you've got to inject yourself twice a day when you've never done anything like it before um, just added to the, to the misery, it just added to it. The reason I'm on blood thinners is because I've got a blood clot which are common um, when people have cancer and when people have surgery. <clears throat> So now I'm going on to one tablet a day, one blood test a year, one anti-coag appointment a year. Uh, and I'm ecstatic because that means that I don't have to come back. Some blood thinners, they have to monitor you monthly and stuff. Um, but this is a, a new drug and um, they don't have to do any of that. So I'm really happy about that. And then the second thing today is the housing in new space that... I'm sure you've all seen. Um, I have to thank Gina Rushin for this. It was her idea, the go from me. Um, she contacted the paper and the paper rang me. Um, I've spread it far and wide and um, I'm hoping to get some more publicity uh, further afield. It's not all about the donations. It's not all about the money. Eventually, it's going to be about um, living the last bit of your life, living the last months of your life uh, with cancer. I have been given less than 12 months to live, but I have no intention of dying within those 12 months. Uh, I think I've got a bit more time in me. I'm hoping that the publicity and the vlog and the GoFundMe will turn into a story about alternative therapies. Um, and obviously all that's gonna hinge on the scan results on the 30th of January. If they come back the same or the tumors have shrunk, I shall get on the, the, the bandwagon and, and I'm gonna to wanna to know why the stuff that I eat, the stuff that I take, isn't being put out there for people that wouldn't necessarily know where to go and get stuff from. You know, elderly people with cancer wouldn't know to go to Holland and Barrows. They wouldn't have access to uh, foreign websites where I can get things like Java tea and celery seed that I can't get hold of in the UK. Um, if all these things work, I'm going to shake from the rooftops. Um, I appreciate all your support, all your donations, and they will be put to good use. Thanks for listening. Bye.